Hello and welcome to another introductory video from Cantech, this time about Entity Extraction Made Easy. How to start your own machine learning model for Entity Extraction without coding. My name is Stefan Geisler from Cantech and this is what we are going to show you. Cantech is a provider of software around NLP and AI, but we won't be talking so much about Cantech here. If you want to know more about who we are and what we do, please visit us at www.cantech.com. So in this tutorial, we show you how to quickly solve the task to set up a new model for entity recognition using Cantech. And this is this, the situation. I have a large number of documents that are unstructured and that contain relevant important information that I need in a structured form. So I need to extract that, but I don't know how to do that. Still, I want to benefit from these new clever machine learning algorithms like deep learning that, as I have heard, are pretty good at that. The solution? I do this in the Cantech Sherpa. So in order to do such a scenario, we jump into the system and we here have a number of raw unannotated text from which we want to extract information. But for the time being, this is not explicit. It's just some, somewhere hidden in the text. For instance, the age, the bed number, and the doctor name, and the patient name in these kind of nurse reports. So I start by adding these by myself. I say here I have the age. I say I have the bed number, which is bed number eight. I have the doctor name, that's Dr. Hendon. And I have the patient, and the patient is Michael I. Wu. So I'm done with that one, I proceed to the next one. Same thing, I have the patient, I have an age, this time as a number, I have the bed, bed number four, I even have the doctor, doctor's Dr. Lou, and the system is observing what I'm doing and already now has a hypothesis what I'm trying to do, it suggests me new stuff. So let's continue some more and then head over to the suggestions. Okay, I now have annotated 10 documents and as we see, we do have suggestions. So let's take a look at these. And the system shows me that it seems to have understood that this is a bad name, this is correct. The patient name, this is correct. The age, this is correct. And the doctor name, this is correct. So I send the whole stuff to the database and here we are. Next one, patient name is correct. Years, age is correct. The doctor name is correct. There's no bed number, so I'm done. And here we are. The bed number is number six, Geoffrey Castro, the age and the doctor. And the su suggestions are pretty good. So I can proceed quickly annotating more of my documents and then head over to do a first experiment. So from the suggestions, I'm going to the experiments where I'm invited to define my experiment. I'm using a fast and simple first algorithm and let my system run on the annotated data. And it's coming back with already 81.5% showing me that on some of the entities, I already have quite a good accuracy. On bed number, I would need to work a little bit more, but it has been only a couple of minutes that I started. So you get the idea. I so far have annotated my data with only my domain competence without knowing anything about machine learning or data science and have already achieved quite some accuracy after a couple of minutes. This one here requires more, mer more work but I'll be able to do that annotating more documents in my application. So let's wrap up. We have seen how to use Cantech on this very simple scenario, these nurse reports. Obviously the same scenario holds also for other more complex documents type, document types, like for instance, contract analysis or scientific reports or software documentation or you name it. What is your scenario? What kind of complex, lengthy document analysis scenarios are relevant for you? The conclusion, we have seen an application that is easy and intuitive to use, providing instant online feedback because the system constantly observes what I'm doing and is constantly suggesting more and more accurate res re results. And we get this after a very short time. If we need better results, we need to invest maybe a little bit more time annotating more data. 
or we fiddle with the learning methods that are built into the system. We now have already an entity extraction model and we didn't even have to bother anyone to impl implement it for us. So KernTech provides powerful machine learning also for non-programmers. That's it for today. Stay tuned for more.